Good morning. And welcome to the worship and praise of God at United Church of Sun City. I am Reverend Brady Abel. It is wonderful to see each and every one of you here this Sunday morning. As we gather this morning, like every Sunday, we join our voices and declare together that God is good. And all the time. Amen. As always, we want to keep in prayer all those listed in the bulletin this morning. A special prayer this day for Jack Prangley and family. Jack's wife, Fran, passed away last Saturday, a week ago yesterday, after a recent cancer diagnosis. Jack, um, I talked to Jack on uh, Thursday and assured him of our prayers. So we do keep Jack and his daughters in prayer this day as we give thanks to God for Fran's life. We continue to pray for all those impacted by Hurricane Helene. We uh, learned this week that at least two United Church of Christ churches in Florida received heavy damage from flooding and a third was damaged by rain and wind, not to mention churches of other denominations and, and faith community gathering places that have been damaged as well. There's more information about Hurricane uh, Helene in the bulletin and relief efforts underway through the United Church of Christ. And then I hear this morning there's a, another storm headed toward the Florida Gulf Coast that's supposed to arrive this week. So prayers for everybody impacted by the storms. As always, we pray for all the joys and concerns that go unspoken this day. Today is the first Sunday of October, and that means it's World Communion Sunday. World Communion Sunday started in 1933 at Shadyside Presbyterian Church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The idea did not take right off, but during World War II, there was an increased interest in Christian churches honoring the connection that we all share between Christians everywhere and with our Lord all around the world. And there's no better place to honor that connection, to celebrate that connection than with the Lord's Supper. And that's what we will do today. In honor of World Communion Sunday, we have four distinct types of bread, breads plus wafers on the Lord's table. They're breads representing places from all around the world. We have the same four breads on each side of the table. So, now, so no matter which side of the table you go to, the breads will be the same. And I'll have the wafers in the middle for those that prefer to have a wafer. Uh, so as we normally do on Communion Sunday, you'll come forward. Um, I'll give you a wafer if you want a wafer. If you want a piece of bread, go get that piece of bread, eat it, and then there'll be juice, a cup of juice. Take that and drink it in places to dispose of the juice. And then after worship, during fellowship time, we'll have the breads available in the beehive if you'd like to try some of the different types of breads. And let me stress, most important, everybody is welcome at the Lord's table. Also, in honor of World Communion Sunday, the stole that I am wearing today is from the Evangelical Presbyterian Church in Ghana, West Africa. It was a gift that I received when I was there in 2006. This morning, we welcome back the choir singing with us, and we give thanks for your voices blessing our worship service this morning. And with that, we also welcome back our Minister of Music, Alan Paulson. Alan, any announcements for us this morning? Thank you. Greg and I had a great time in Italy, sang in the most incredibly beautiful churches that took like 600 years to build. It was very emotional. And even though our concerts there started at 9 at night, it was a packed house every time. The tourists that didn't know who we were came and clapped a lot. So what a blessing, and we're so happy to be home safely. My only big announcement, he just said, the choir is back. Yay. So welcome, choir. We always have room for one more, so we're about to start rehearsing our Christmas cantata probably next week. 8.40 every morning, right back here if you're interested. Even if you'd like to be in it just for the cantata, you're invited. Alan, did I hear you suggest that we should try 9 o'clock in the evening worship service? Is that <laughs> I'm busy that day. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, as we do each Sunday morning, let us turn and greet one another with our smiles and our waves. Good morning, one and all. Please.
Please join with me in this moment of silence as we center our hearts, minds, and souls on the worship and praise of God. 